Hello and welcome. Today we're working on the statement of cash flows. How to get started and what it means to have a statement of cash flows. If you're new, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn. So we're teaching the principles of accounting series. We're doing articles and videos and playlists. So we're in chapter 12 right now on statement of cash flows. So what is the statement of cash flows? Well, we know the financial statements. The financial statements, we have income statement, we have some kind of statement of equity or retained earnings, we have the balance sheet, and now we're to the statement of cash flows. It's kind of the more difficult one to prepare because we have the accrual accounting system, and the accrual accounting system says we recognize revenue when we earn it and recognize expenses when we incur it, and the cash flow happens before or during or after. So cash flow statement or the statement of cash flows is can be difficult to prepare. So let's talk about the cash flow format. We have three activities, operating, investing, and financing. And from that, we get the total or net cash flow for our business. And then we have some non-cash transactions. So let's talk about each of these sections and we'll show a quick example of what one looks like for a company. So operating activities is anything involving net income, or current assets and current liabilities. So this could be any type of revenue we receive from running our business or any type of expense we incur, or any increase or decrease in current assets and current liabilities. Now there's one thing that always would happen because we start with net income, um, then we always exclude these items from uh, the operating activities. So we do not include depreciation or amortization or any gains or losses in sell of these assets. Now there's two ways to prepare the operating activity section. And one way is called the direct method and the other way is the indirect method. Now the direct method, it sounds really great, but it's not used very often. So you're not likely to see the direct method. And here's why it takes cash receipts minus cash payments. And you have things like cash received from customers or cash paid to suppliers or cash paid to employees. And so it's easy to read, but it's kind of hard to prepare because of the accrual accounting. So 95% of the time, we're gonna use the indirect method, which means we start with net income and then we make adjustments. So the next section is investing activities. And this is any time we're buying or selling long-term assets. So these non-current assets, so anytime we buy or sell land, buildings, equipment, investments, so on. So this is what, what do you use with your cash? What do you invest in? Now financing, financing is the idea of how do you, how do you generate finance in your, your company or how do you finance your company? So this is anything having to do with long-term debt or stockholders equity. So we issue bonds and we pay off debt, we issue stock, we repurchase stock, we pay dividends. All these are financing activities. So let's look at Apple's uh, statement of cash flows. So at the very beginning, they have cash, the beginning balance of cash, and then they add the operating activities. Operating activity starts with net income. So you know that's the indirect method because they're taking net income and plus or minus adjustments. Now let me point to depreciation and amortization. Now it's already included as an expense in net income. So if you looked at the income statement, we would have depreciation expense and amortization expense, and those are negatives. If we just start with net income, it includes that negative depreciation expense. We want to get rid of it. And so we put a positive depreciation amortization, and so we get rid of that and we, we're taking it out of the cash flow. It's not a cash um, expense, and so therefore it's not included, so we remove it as an adjustment to net income. Then we have plus or minus changes in operating assets and liabilities. That's another way of saying current assets or current liabilities. So then we have operating activities here on this statement. Now investing activities, anytime you buy or sell plan assets, anytime you buy or sell long-term investments, and this is uh, what's happening here. And then financing activities, anytime 
you're issuing stock or repurchasing stock, you're borrowing money, you're paying dividends. And so we see what happens here. Um, we have payments for dividends and we have uh, payments for other things and repurchasing common stock and things like that. So at the bottom, we would say this is increase or decrease in cash, which is net cash flow. So they had a positive net cash flow and their cash went from 25 uh, billion to 30 billion. So it increased. So the ending balance of cash is the $30 billion. And we show how much is operating, how much is investing, how much is financing. On the next videos, we'll show, uh, we'll work problems and make sure you know how to do these problems with statement of cash flows. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.